to two things in the news this week caught my attention. One uh, was a viral TikTok video by Miss Patch. She's talking about the difficult time she has finding more traditional, what she calls masculine qualities in a liberal man. She's kind of putting herself in a group that is deconstructing ideas that she then says she values. It would make sense that that doesn't happen. And obviously as a liberal woman, I do want to be respected from my independence, not be confined or conform to the traditional female homemaker, childbearing role. Another thing that came out this week is a study done by AI that finds that female politicians who are conservative are more attractive and happier in the photos than female politicians who are liberal. Comparison between these two reveals something to us in our society, and that is that there is, as Ms. Patch says, a desire to have your cake and eat it too. There is a desire for us to be everything we want to be and, and the center of the universe and have all of our desires met and all these things, but not have any of the responsibility, the truth or reality that goes with that. That's not true. If you have a mindset that masculinity is toxic, then why would someone pursue masculine traits? Right? And we see this in the feminine rising of language, right? replacing he with she as a gender neutral term in English. We are pushing down men than we are raising up women often because even in the situations like Dylan Mulvaney, these are men who are now representing women. We see this in sports and beauty pageants. When we are looking at the value set that would be progressive, and the fruit of that progressive value set where we are deconstructing reality and truth all the time, especially in the situation of gender right now as a society, I would not find it surprising at all that someone who has been raised in these progressive value sets would, uh, would agree with these ideas. I agree. This does reveal that truth is truth. And at the end of the day, if we act in righteousness, if we act in truth, there will be fruit. So if you're a single guy out there, continue to be chivalrous and uh, watch out for the seductresses. Don't let uh, a girl like this who wants you to treat her in truth, value all of these things that are against God and against truth to reel you in. All right, well, those are my thoughts on uh, some viral videos this week and uh, some very scientific studies out of Denmark on AI and the attractiveness of conservatives. Hopefully you found them entertaining, a little bit of a lighter fare in this video, but uh, we would still love for you to like, share, subscribe, and send it out to anybody that you think might enjoy it. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time.